Hello my friends, it is the third day of May, it is Sunday, I had just left a live internet uh, church service, uh, it was really good, I miss church, I miss going to church, but uh, I guess this is the best we're going to get, and the uh, situation we're going through. Uh, our pastor preaches via the internet live and I go to play some music at the beginning you know like you would start any service uh, but it's a very uh, small sample of what a regular service would be I want a couple songs that's it but it's better than sitting at home and doing nothing so I'm happy that I can somewhat participate in a I guess you call it a church service if you want to call it that as far as that goes but that brings me to the point of my video I'm very very I'm just gonna come out and say it I'm very angry uh, that our state governor has done the things that he's done uh, now I'm sure you're gonna wonder what this has to do with church the Bible whatever bear with me I'll get there just hold on our governor is a Republican now the only way a Republican gets elected in the state especially the state that I live in which is about 97 percent hardcore Democrat is if he is pretty well much a Democrat Meaning he will go along with their narrative. He'll do what basically whatever they're wanting as far as bills being passed. Him signing things into law. Uh, because you won't have many Republicans in my state. Period. It's, it's just the way it is. And I'm not the only state like that. I know there's many other ones out there that, that are like that. And... I want to try to do this in a very polite and decent way because I am very angry. First off, he's received well over a billion dollars in aid from the federal government, i.e. the President of the United States. He's the bottom line when it comes to stuff like that. And he has the audacity, first off, to not use the money properly throughout the time when he had it. And then he has the sheer audacity to blame all of the virus and everything on the president. When the president went out of his way to help this state. He didn't have to. People forget. People don't understand the way government works. If you ever took government in school, you will know the reason that each state has a governor and each state has its own Congress. They have their own Senate is so they can take care of their own state's needs. And if a problem arises within that state, they take care of it. If it's something that is overwhelming, like a natural disaster, hurricane, floods, whatever, yes, the federal government absolutely can step in and help. You know, absolutely. But to get that much aid from our president, from his administration, and to still turn around and... and, and slander him in the media which the media eats up they love it it just really it really burns me now that's not what I want to really talk about he's what I want to talk about but it's not that's not the point I'm just setting up the narrative here I'm setting up what I want to talk about giving you a little you know baseline a little footnotes of what the real story is that I'm going to be getting to. And that is 
as you well know, as many other states, our governor deemed church not essential to the citizens of the state that he runs and leads. He deemed church not essential. But he deemed liquor stores essential and he deemed porno stores or pornography shops or whatever they're called he deemed them essential but churches no if you want to get drunk no problem you're good to go if you want to go in and be a pervert and go into one of them pervert shops no problem you're good to go open 24 7 thanks to our governor but you want to go praise the Lord and worship God nope it's not essential we don't deem it essential but you want to go into a, an adult bookstore that's what they're called or you're going to be standing right next to people like you would in church that's completely fine. Now, you know why liquor stores and adult pornographic stores are deemed essential? Because they are heavily taxed by my state. Churches are tax exempt. So what it comes down to, my friends, is money. Plain and simple money. Money before God. Money before worship. Money before Jesus. That's where we're at today. In the first part of May. 2020. And that my friends is why. I am angered. At this whole situation. Now you have other states. That have the same thing. I'm sure. But they have it a lot worse. Like Michigan. There's some other states out there where the governors have run rampant over top of the people. Virginia. But me, as someone that loves going to church every week faithfully, that loves playing music for the Lord every week faithfully, I cannot do that along with the other tens of thousands of others in this state. Because it is deemed non-essential. But again. If I'm an alcoholic. Or pervert. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Because my stores. My shops. Are wide open. Thanks to good old governor. Our good old wonderful governor. Yes, I am upset, as you can tell, because I think this is disgusting. I cannot understand why church would not be essential when God is exactly and Jesus is exactly who we need in this time more than anything. Prayer, faith, being together, worship, that is essential in times of need and in times of anything. It's highly essential, but not according to our governor. Again, if you're a pervert, or you like to drink booze, you're okay. You're fine. You can go get you a bottle of whiskey and go right to the porno store. You're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Our wonderful governor has kept them doors wide open, raking in that tax money while our churches are padlocked and people arrested if they go and attend or try to have a service of any kind. 
ministers arrested. This is May 2020. This is where we're at. And I'm afraid if we don't take a stand, it's only going to get worse. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday today. I'm sorry to be a little on the uh, grumpy side, but this is a, a topic that any believer should be inflamed by with the utmost of anger. This is not what we elect our officials to do, to abuse their power. And this is exactly what they are doing. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Be safe. Pray for America. Pray for our president. Most important, pray for one another. I will talk to you tomorrow, my friends. Bye-bye.